Hi, this is Dr. Don. I've got a couple of questions from students asking what's a good way to get the code that I need to load a data file into my project. Here we're in Posit Cloud and we have a worksheet open, an empty code chunk here, and there's a data file that I want to get and have it available to use. It's in my data folder in this workspace, so I just click on that to expand it. Then I'm going to scroll down. And the one I want is called this DPS underscore 500. One way to get the code is just to click on that name, go to Import Data Set, and you get this window that opens up. Up top, it shows you the, the total path to that particular data set if you want to use that for some other reasons. And it gives you a preview here, kind of an Excel-like preview if you want. But down here is what I'm most interested in. This is the code preview. And this gives us the code that we need to put into our um, document so that we have a reproducible document. And that there are three lines of code here they have you. The first is the, the package we need, which is the read Excel package. This is an Excel file. And then it gives us, we're creating a new data object called DPS underscore 500 which is just the first part of the file name, and then read underscore Excel, and then the, the short path to that particular data file. And then we've got a line there that we can view it, which is essentially the same thing up here. You don't want to click on import. Do not click on import. Click on this little pad up there. I call it the copy icon. And then that copies the data. And then I'm going to cancel this view, get it out of the way, go over here into my empty code chunk, Control V to paste. So there we've got that code chunk. And I'm just going to go ahead and run it. And you can see we've got the data object created over here. DPS underscore 500. Got 499 rows with 16 variables. We've got the view of it here that you can scroll around and see what's in it if you want. And also all of the variables there. So that's a quick way. And again, what this does is put the code into your document. And then when you knit the document, it will not throw an error looking for this particular data file. So I hope this helps.